Good day. My name is Willisa Ruffin, and today I would like to take you on a quick trip to discuss the history of word processing. In the beginning, there was the word spelled out on a typewriter. And then God said, let there be word processing. And it was done. And the world was a much happier place. Go, little guy. Go, little guy. Go, go. Okay, I'm sorry. I digress. Word processing is an operation by which written, verbal, or recorded information is transformed into typewritten or printed form. Word processors can produce a wide variety of documents, including letters, memorandum, and manuals rapidly and at a relatively low cost. The term word processing was invented by IBM in the late 1960s, and by 1964, researchers at IBM Corporation produced the cylindric typewriter. This was a relatively high-speed automatic typewriter that had a magnetic tape data storage unit and a retrieval device. Evelyn Berenson invented the data secretary, which was the first electronic word processor for secretarial use. In 1969, she founded the Redactron Corporation in Hodgepodge, Long Island to manufacture and market the $8,000 machine. The data secretary was the size of a small refrigerator. It was designed with a set of only 13 chips to control the entire machine. Cassette tapes were used for storage. It had no screen, and the keyboard and printer was an IBM Selectric typewriter. The development of electronic digital mini computers and microcomputers during the 60s and 70s gave rise to faster word processing systems with greater capabilities. And by the time 1971 rolled around, word processing was recognized by the New York Times as a buzzword as they referred to the technology in one of their articles that year as the brave new world of word processing. A major breakthrough occurred in 1976 with the introduction of CRT-based systems by Wang Laboratories. CRT stands for cathode ray tube, and it was a technical development used in monitors, microchips, and computers, which advanced the capabilities of word processors far beyond any typewriter. They were essentially microcomputers with tiny monitors, keyboards, printers, and specialized software. When personal computers, printers, and computer applications for word processing came onto the scene, Sales of dedicated word processor machines plummeted, and in 2009, there were only two American companies, Alpha Smart and Classic, which continued making them the old school way, at least for a little while. Today, the typical word processing software comprises of more than one program that can easily produce a combination of graphics, images, and text, with the text having typesetting capability. So in conclusion, we must ask ourselves the curious question of whether you can still find an antique, fully functional, portable word processor anywhere today. It may be a little tricky if you don't know where to look. However, I did do some research on Amazon, just out of curiosity, and did find many early versions of the electronic typewriter and the AlphaSmart 3000 that was made for use in classrooms way back in the year 2000 as listed items. It was discontinued, but with anything else, it seems, you can still purchase it there on Amazon. So in summary, I discussed the history of word processing, and I also explained how its humble beginnings derived from the typewriter. I also introduced you to Evelyn Berenson, who invented the data secretary, and Wang Laboratories, who revolutionized word processing with the production of their CRT system. And finally, I explained what the typical word processor looks like today and how you can still find some pretty nifty antique word processor deals that are available on Amazon. This concludes my presentation. I hope you leave feeling well-informed and I thank you for your time.